Hello and welcome to the virtual IT learning. In this video, we will learn about Linux file and folder permissions. Following are a few topics that we will discuss that includes type of permissions on files and folders and difference between users, group and other permissions. Methods available to assign and change permissions using both numeric or octal mode and using letters. And finally, we will discuss how to change the ownership for files and folders in Linux Unix operating systems. We will begin with ls command that is used to list the files and folders including their permissions in Linux and Unix operating systems. There are various parameters that you can use with ls command. For example, l parameter is used to display the long format, file types, permissions, honor, group, size, date and file name. t parameter is used to sort the list of files by the file update timestamp. R is used to display the file names in reverse order while sorting. We can merge more than one parameters together to combine the required result. For example, to display the long list of files, sort them by update time and then sort them in reverse order. You can use ls-ltr like this. So LTR parameters will display the list of files and folders in long format with file types and then sort the result set by file update timestamp. Finally, it will display the file names in reverse order while sorting. It also displays the permissions on files and folders which are shown here. Now we will discuss about the file permissions. File system permissions refer to the user access rights to handle any file or directory in a file system. In Unix Linux operating systems, there are three types of permissions on files and folders. That includes honor, group, and others. Honor refers to the user who owns the file or folder. Group refers to the permissions for any user in the group that the file or directory belongs to. Others refer to the permissions for all the other users who are neither the owner nor the member of the group that the file belongs to. In other words, if you set a permission for the other category, it will affect anyone else by default. For each of these three categories, there are further three different permissions that can be used to control or grant the file or folder permissions. Those are read, write, and execute permissions. Read permission gives the ability to read the file Write permission gives the ability to write to the file and execute permission gives the ability to execute of the file as a program. Each of these types of permissions has an octal number associated to it, the number in parentheses after it. Here read refers to number 4, write refers to number 2 and execute permission refers to number 1. You can use these octal numbers to assign the permissions to files or folders. For example, to make a file both readable and writable, you can use the value as 6, which is a combination of 4 plus 2 that will assign both read and write permission on a file or folder. Here are a few permissions shown on the files and few possible combinations of such permissions using octal numbers. Now we will discuss how to change the file and folder permissions. We use chmod command to change or assign file access permissions in Unix Linux environment. For example, chmod 755 will give all the access permissions that includes read, write, and execute permissions. This is the combination of numbers 4 plus 2 plus 1 that makes it 7. So a combination of all those permissions will be assigned to the owner or user of the file or directory. And then the read and execute permissions to the group members and other users. Here is the syntax of the chmod command. In this syntax, who refers to the user, group and others are all three of them and permissions refer to read, write or execute permissions. There are two methods of assigning or changing the permissions. Number one is using the numeric mode or the octal system. Using this method, you can use the numeric mode or the octal system to set the permissions. Here is how the octal system works. 4 is equal to read, 2 is equal to write, 1 is equal to execute, and 0 refers to the no permissions at all. 
values add up when you combine permissions. Consequently, the total number can go from range zero, that in that refers to the no permission at all, uh, to up to seven. Seven refers to full permissions. To assign the permissions you want, you add up the per numbers accordingly. For example, the read, write, and execute permissions would be 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 7. Read and execute would be 4 plus 1 equals to 5. And read and write permissions would be 4 plus 2 equals to 6. Because you set separate permissions for the owner, group, and others, you will need a three-digit number representing the permissions of all these groups. For example, if you want to set 755 permissions on a file or folder, we will use the command. So we want to set the permission 755 to, on this file. Now let's see the difference. Now see the difference. It has assigned full permissions to the users of the file or owner of the file, read and execute permission to group and other users. You can see the difference before and after executing the chmod755 command. So after issuing the chmod755 myfile1 command, this will change the myfile1 permissions to these permissions. In this case, the owner would have full read, write and execute permissions that is a combination of 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 7. And the group would have read and execute permissions. That is a combination of 4 plus 1. And same way, the others would have the read and execute permissions. Let's do a few other examples on the same file and see the difference. This will give full permissions on the file. With 644, the owner can read and write, and others, peop other people can only read. In this case, with 741, this will give all access permissions to the owner, only read permissions to the group members, and only execute permission to the other groups. The other mode in which chmod can be used is letters such as u, g, and o, rather than using the number mode or the octal system. Here's how it works. When assigning permissions, you can also use the letters for user, group, and others, like in this case, user refers by the letter u, represents the owner of the file. g refers to the letter g, represents all the users who are members of the group which the file belongs to and others refer to the letter O represents all the users that are neither member of the group nor the owner of the group. Same way you can use the letters for the read, write or uh, execute permissions rather than using the octal numbers. So here in this case for read permission which is symbolized by the letter R, write permissions symbolized by the letter W and execute permissions symbolized by the letter X. Here is an example of uh, 755 permission set on a file. So using this method, 755 would be equivalent to read, write, and execute permissions to the owner, read and execute permissions to the group, and read and execute permissions to the others. So using this method of letters, this command would be equivalent to this syntax. Now we will use few examples of using this method. So for example, we wanna add the read permissions to others on a file. So you will use. So in this case, we can see read permission has been added for others. Now, if you want to assign write and execute permissions to group and others, we can use this command. So, you, so using this command, we have assigned write and execute permissions to group and others. Same way, if you want to remove the permissions, so for example, if you want to remove the permissions of read, write, and execute from all, then we can use the command. If you want to remove the read, write, and execute permissions from others, we can use the command.
So this way we have used this command chmod o using minus rewrite and execute. It has removed the, that set of permissions from others. Let's set the permissions back to read permissions only. Now we want to add the read, write and execute permissions to user group and others. So to do that, we can use the command This command has assigned all the read, write, and execute permissions to all user group and others. Let's set the permissions back to the read permissions. Now, we can use the same command to add the permissions with commas, like this. So this way, using this command, we have removed read, write, and execute permissions from users. We have added read and execute permissions to per group and then read and execute permissions for others. Now we will discuss how to change the ownership of the files and folders. We use ch on command to change the user and our group of a file or folder in Linux Unix environment. Here's the syntax of ch on command. Let's see how we can use it. So for example, if you want to change the owner and group of this folder tomcat to root we can use the command user and group name and folder name so using this command the owner and group of this folder has changed from tomcat to root Same way, if you want to change the honor and group of this file from root to tomcat, you can use see the result of this command. It has changed the honor from root to tomcat for this particular file. Thanks for watching.